Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as many of you know, I do post and upload numerous videos on this channel um, informing you of Windows updates that are causing issues. Now in this video, in as short a time as possible, I will discuss some of my observations, personal observations, and in my experience, give you some options and, su and suggest some things you can try to help Windows updates download and install successfully onto your Windows machine. And this video applies both to Windows 10 and 11. Now, we all know that Microsoft from time to time can roll out the rogue and corrupt, odd rogue and corrupt update, which can cause havoc in the Windows operating system. But in my experience over the years and observations, I found that 90% of Windows update issues are caused by users who tamper with the operating system and don't have the knowledge or know-how to do so. And also, use third-party software that can cause massive damage to your Windows operating system. Now, I personally, about a year and a half ago, stopped using all third-party uh, utilities like CCleaner, as an example, which clean out temporary and junk files from your system, which also has a registry cleaner. I have stopped using all third-party driver update utilities and also third-party tweaking software, which so-called speeds up your Windows operating system. Now, regarding CCleaner and, you know, registry cleaners, I found that if we just head over to the registry, these registry cleaners can actually delete uh, uh, registry keys and entries that are actually needed by Windows Update uh, for future updates. And when the, the update cannot find that specific registry key, it will then fail to install properly or even install altogether. So stay away from third-party registry cleaners. Uh, they actually do more harm than good. And then with third-party driver update utilities, which I've stopped using as well, um, these can just force a whole lot of drivers onto your system, especially if you don't have the knowledge or know-how, which at the end of the day can cause your system to become unstable and cause massive problems when you try to download and install Windows updates. And I found the safest option is just to wait for the optional driver updates to roll out through Windows Update or if you are having a specific problem with a piece of hardware that needs urgent attention uh, with drivers, rather head over to the manufacturer's website and download a trustworthy, safe version of the driver from the manufacturer's website itself than relying on third-party driver update utilities. And then tweaking software to so-called speed up and increase the performance of your PC. Um, I used to use this a lot back in the day with Windows XP, but I found, as many of you know, that PCs um, these days are getting quicker and faster with the hardware rolling out, and these apps are now becoming obsolete. And there, in Windows 10 and 11, there are many settings you can change manually, uh, safely, to help increase the performance of your PC. And I have posted a whole playlist on this channel on how to speed up Windows without using any third-party software, if you'd like to go check that playlist out. And then something else um, just to suggest is if we head back to the settings menu and we go to our apps menu, apps and features, this is where all the apps and programs installed on your uh, device are listed. And as you, many of you know, there are certain apps you cannot uninstall. The, the uninstall option is grayed out. And these are apps that roll out by default in Windows 10 and 11. Another example would be good old Cortana as an example you cannot uninstall these apps. Now, I have found trying to forcefully remove and uninstall these apps can cause your system to become unstable and cause massive issues when it comes to uh, Windows updates, downloading and installing successfully. I, my past, uh, I myself in the past have used third-party software to forcefully remove these. And also, if you do know how, you can use PowerShell commands and scripts to forcefully uninstall these, up, these uh, apps. But I find that um, some of these apps are needed by certain updates. So it's best just to leave them alone. And then just getting back to disk cleanup utilities, Windows uh, 10 and 11 both come with their own built-in disk cleanup utilities. There are two. One is called, if you go to your system menu in settings and storage, one is called Storage Sense. And I have uh, featured these disk cleanup utilities and storage sense in previous videos. If you click on temporary files in storage sense, you have options to delete junk and temporary files off of your system, which is a safe way to do so. And then another option is if you do a search, if you don't know where it is, is the legacy disk cleanup utility, 
which um, um, also gives you options to uninstall junk and unnecessary files and temporary files from your system. Now, just one thing to note with these, uh, these the uh, storage sense and disk cleanup utility is there is an option when you are checking for junk and temporary files, the, a, a box you can check called Windows Update Cleanup. Now, I get lots of feedback on this channel regarding users saying uh, if they're having a problem with an update and they try to uninstall a certain update, that it's there is no uninstall option available. Now, I found in my observations over the years that when you check Windows Update Cleanup, it deletes older updates and can compress current updates to a certain degree. And this can cause updates that you are trying to uninstall that you cannot find the uninstall option. It removes it. So just be aware that if you are having problems with updates, rather don't select Windows Update Cleanup and um, rather leave it alone as I have found as mentioned that it can remove the option to uninstall certain updates. And then if you know you are having problems at, and I have mentioned this in previous videos on this channel, if you are having problems, what I suggest the first thing to try and do is you can also do a search for it in both Windows 10 and 11, but you just right click on the start menu in Windows 10, run command prompt as admin that's administrator at the prompt, type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And what this does, it will check your system for corrupt and damaged files. And from an image, um, a Windows image on your, um, your system will replace and repair those files if it finds any that are damaged or corrupt. And this can take a while depending on the size of your system. And after you have entered SFC uh, space forward slash scan now, just hit enter. And that will check your system. And if it finds any corrupt files, it will let you know and tell you it has repaired them. And if it um, doesn't find any um, corrupt files, it will um, pop, 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 pop up with a message similar to saying Windows did not, 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 did not detect any integrity violations on your system. And then if you are at the point where no updates are installing and you have got more issues um, uh, on your system than you can handle, and I've had to do this, do this myself in the past. What you can do is you head over back to your settings menu, update and security. You go to recovery and you reset this PC. And I know, I know now this, this is a tedious process and can take some time. But I have had to do this in the past. And basically, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. And I find... This just puts basically a fresh copy of Windows back onto your operate, onto your device. And then if you just take note of the suggestions and options I have um, given you in this video, I'm sure uh, due to my own experience um, that Windows updates will download and install successfully onto your device. And at the end of the day, you will have a much more stable and um, you know device than you had previously. So I know this was a long one, but I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.